Hi, my name is Mark LaPassa and I'm an amateur VR developer. I'm learning how to create uh, VR experiences and I've been watching the show Terrace House Aloha Estate on Netflix and it's about these six cast members that are in a house in Hawaii and I'm a really big fan of the house itself. I mean the cast is, is really cool but the house itself is uh, I find really awesome and I kind of wish like everyone else that could be there in Hawaii and to be able to enjoy it so I started this project thinking that I could try to create the same terrace house uh, Aloha State uh, and recreate it in virtual reality and I've been working on this for the last 30 days and it's about um, half an hour an hour a day I would spend um, working little tiny pro problems and solving them and eventually accumulated to where I am right now and I'm just kind of giving you this demo of how far I've gotten with it and um, yeah so this is the front of the house uh, you'd find the driveway here in front of you and if you guys remember in the show they have a pickup truck and a convertible Mustang great cars to have on the island of Oahu and here's the foyer that's here I uh, was able to get a realtor photo online. It shows the uh, how this would look, and um, yeah, it's, you can't see it from the camera angles from within the house, so they don't really show this view. And if you look, there isn't too much space. Uh, and what they don't show you is like how you go in and out of the house. So here, where I'm guessing, this would be the girls' uh, second floor uh, bedroom here, and you can see that there's a uh, bunk beds here. One is on the ground below and here's another one too on the top. Uh, like I said I'm still trying to learn how this technology works and how the different 3D software works. I'm not able to get any of the colors correct uh, at least to get some of an idea of what the shape looks like but here would be um, you'd be able to see through this and you'd be able to see the the ocean but this is what it is right now. Anyways so there's a window there and as you're going through the room, this would be the entrance to the girls' bathroom that's here. And so you see this would be like a mirror that'd be here, and there would be like a faucet. Uh, you can brush your teeth, wash your face. There's the hot tub here. And on the left side, you would have the standing shower. Again, this is all just kind of a work in progress. This is just a project to kind of apply the stuff that I'm, I'm learning with 3D modeling, uh, creating VR experiences and also using Unreal Engine as well. If I exit out of the bedroom that's here, this is the walk-in closet and of course the girls get this room because they need to have a walk-in closet, they have all those clothes that they need to wear. Uh, for the boys room I haven't done it uh, anything on the floor below so that includes the playroom and also the swimming pool and the the outdoor dining area. And here is the famous room that most of the show that um, Terrace House is actually filmed in. And uh, you can see here, this is kind of the general angle where like, pretty much a lot of the show is shot. People sitting around a table and uh, it's kind of living their lives in front of the, the camera. And I uh, just kind of really fell in love with this room itself. I mean, if you look at the recessed ceilings that are that are here and the lines, uh, it's it's really nice. It really, whoever designed this house, uh, um, it's amazing. And you know, in, in terms of the design itself, it really complements would be the view. So in the show itself, the first episode, the the castmates they actually gravitate towards this room and into this uh, this balcony area and this is what it would look like I would imagine I've never set foot in this house and I've never been to this part of Oahu in, in Hawaii and you would have this view straight ahead of the ocean and the houses below and if you look below you would have the swimming pool that you would want to jump into but as you can see here I have no swimming pool I've got nothing going on here and that's what it would look like from the inside of the house. And you can see uh, here's the kitchen. 
that's a pretty cool kitchen, a lot of counter space. Uh, here's a little nook here that you would be able to store your recipes or whatnot and, and store your plates. It's a blank wall. I haven't done a fridge. This is a really awesome bay window here. Uh, you know, you imagine washing your dishes and you got you well, know, you got a view of this the shrubs that are between the houses, but even then it's still you get all this natural light. That's the most amazing thing about this house. And in the island here, if you guys remember from the Christmas episode, this is where the oven would be where they would cook the the turkey or the chicken or whatever they got. And um, yeah, just this view here, you'd be able to look out into the ocean uh, from the kitchen is just absolutely stunning. So the dining room on the right is here, and on this area right here, you'd have a circular carpet. I haven't done any of the floor. Uh, here's that really cool bookshelf that they have. Uh, it's very uniquely designed, and I tried to recreate it here. Uh, and here is where you would find that that chaise uh, chair where you, they had the, this lamp and this uh, this table. It just kind of invites you to kind of lie down and just read your your favorite book, and you could have this amazing view of the ocean that's that's here. And uh, there's also a doorway that lets you get back into the balcony. So that's the kind of main uh, top, like first floor or the second floor of this three floor house and right here you would actually have stairs that would take you down to the lower level and another set of stairs that take you up to the above the garage and they never show uh, this room in the show and according to realtor photos that I've been able to find online it's like some sort of like boardroom or like a really large room and also I'm guessing here that behind this door would be the elevator that will take you down to the first floor. So this house, whoever built it, I guess they had accessibility in mind and when they constructed it, there would be an elevator that would go take you down to uh, to the lower level. I'm not sure if it would take you up to the upper level. And I'm guessing this would be um, a washroom, maybe. I'm not sure. Maybe a powder room. Uh, again, I've never set foot. so collecting a lot of information from realtor photos from social media pics from the cast online and um, taking screen grabs or screen captures from the show itself uh, that's how I was able to kind of get a general feel of what the house c would look like if I actually were to be in it so a lot of the fine details are missing but the general overall geometry the shape of the place is there and the whole reason why I wanted to start this project was that, you know, being such a big fan of the show and not having like two million dollars US in my pocket to buy a house like this, probably is going for more, I wanted to be able to put on an Oculus Rift or a Vive or whatever VR headset and to be able to, to feel like I was actually in Terrace House. So this is kind of just a start, so that's a long way to go and I'm learning like quite a bit of different things that are involved in creating these types of experiences and it's it's uh it's really fun it's really exciting and putting this together is, is a labor of love and you can see here this would be the entrance to the garage it would kind of step down this garage floor is actually lower than the house itself and you would find guys surfboards that would be in the uh the garage here and uh, the Mustang would be here as well. So again, if you were to put this on a VR headset, everything should be to scale. And uh, I was very lucky to find, you know, this blueprint of the, well, the the floor layout of the of the house itself, and that was very helpful in, in constructing the the base skeleton of the, this, the foundation. And then from there on, I just kind of created the walls and put a ceiling and just a lot of you know detail into the different windows and and rooms in the house you can see me here I'm just kind of going through the exterior of the house uh, doesn't really look like much but you get the general idea of it and um, yeah so this is kind of a, a preview tour of how far I've gotten in this pet project that I, that I have going on here and uh, I don't know if I'll ever finish this, uh, but at least I'm sharing with you guys, fans of the show, fans of VR development, um, how far I've gotten with this. And 
hope to do another update in the future as I continue to make more progress. So this is the the first pass of getting uh, all the static meshes into Unreal Engine. Uh, before that, in order to make this experience, uh, I've been using uh, the software called SketchUp, and from SketchUp, I've been able to uh, let's see here. Uh, using SketchUp, I've been able to create the houses, the, the different assets of the room itself, and then exporting it to a program called Blender. And so again, like I said here, taking screenshots from the show itself. This is the balcony, uh, this famous view. And you can see here, this is not the same furniture you'd find in a show. This is actually from an online realtor photo uh, that I was able to obtain. And they have such an amazing view. I mean, I I'd love to have a balcony that would have this view and, and this look. And this is me right here taking the static meshes that have been created in SketchUp and then exporting it to Blender and then applying a light source and, and, and the materials as well and just kind of rendering it just the balcony itself and to kind of create the illusion that this is actually you know something virtually you can see I just kind of overlaid uh, some other person's uh, holiday photo or a picture of an island I can't remember where I got this from I wish I could just show some credit for it but uh, yeah this kind of fool you into this is would be the the view that you would see in in VR once it's finally finished. This is a kind of a rendered view using Blender cycles. Again, this is a different angle from the same area of the balcony, uh, and this house is overlooking uh, Diamond Head, and it's in the uh, southeast part of of Oahu. And here is me again recreating the same balcony, um, trying to get the general shape of it. Obviously, it's not going to be perfect to the exact centimeter or inch but the general shape is there and from SketchUp I exported it to Blender and to I applied some lighting sources you can see here so I can create that shadow through the rails the the, the handrails that are here and just kind of really put it over the top I've overlaid that view with some other person's view of, of somewhere else in Hawaii uh, not looking at Diamond Head but just kind of simulate what it would look like in in VR so I'm, I'm still trying to figure out how to be able to do this in Unreal Engine but in Blender um, this is kind of the the general idea from uh, another realtor photo uh, this is the shot from the back of the balcony and this is the another point of view of the same balcony from the exterior and this is rendered with it in isolation just with a light source from the the top there now this is a screenshot from the opening credits of uh, Netflix uh, Terrace House Low Estate and I just cropped just this uh, balcony again just to kind of focus to get the same angle as what I was trying to create it in, in SketchUp as well and exported it from SketchUp into Blender with a lighting source and you can see here uh, this is what it sh kind of would look like in in the finished product hopefully you know figure out what I know what I'm doing and trying to recreate the same effect in Blender in Unreal Engine so I'm, again I'm learning and just I'm new to this stuff and here's the, the dining room kind of behind the scenes what where I was working off here I got a screenshot of the uh, the dining room here where the cast was were eating or just talking and um, from there uh, just kind of trying to collect those tiny points of reference and trying to recreate it visually and a lot of trial and error trying to get it to work so many, so many subtle uh, details in the room it's kind of hard to not get lost in all of it eventually I was able to block out the room and then this was just a kind of an initial rendering of the room itself and trying to understand how to actually render something in, in Blender and that's why it looks kind of really grainy because the samples weren't high enough. Uh, this is the same same room with a different type of uh, focal length on the camera, so you can try to capture more wide angle at a, a different uh, ratio. And this is just kind of overlaying the shrubs of the neighbor neighboring house next door that would display uh, through through the windows here. 
kind of simulate again what you would kind of see in the, the finished VR experience or something close to it. And uh, this is when I was trying to figure out how to get the higher quality. So you can see here, I got a little bit more finer detail. Um, it got the these bone white tiles and this hardwood floor, which is pretty weird for a kitchen, giving us an air of moisture. But in the show, or in the real life, the, the house does have hardwood floor. And um, yeah, just kind of recreating some foliage here with the light source and kind of simulating what you kind of would look like if you had that type of view, that if you're standing in that room at that time of day in the morning and the natural light would be coming in. And that's it. That's my uh, sh really short demo. Uh, I'm really looking forward uh, from watching here from Canada, Toronto, Canada, this third batch of episodes that are coming out, I believe, June the 12th. So I'll be eagerly watching and, and working on this project is just kind of what has been kind of keeping me busy until those new episodes uh, come and get released. It's kind of hard to stay away from the online Facebook and Reddit uh, because it comes out in Japan like every week so like they're so ahead and, and, and the way it's released internationally everyone's so behind but again looking forward to the show and looking forward to showing more about this uh, fan project that I've made it's not for commercial reasons it's just for education I'm just trying to learn how to do this stuff and hopefully you guys will be able to try it yourselves one day thanks